Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I hope you are having a great first day of 2021. Yeah, so I'm going to be sharing with you the books I plan on reading this month. And I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 books I want to read this month. And usually how January goes, it's usually like slow as a freaking slug. So I should be able to get through these 10 books. So the first one, I want to go in no, no particular order. I'm just going to go right off the top, like I always say. And I want to be reading Frozen 2 Dangerous Secrets by Mary Mancusi. I'm going to be reading this out loud to my kids. Um, we read Frozen 2 Forest of Shadows last month for school, and it was great. And so I got this for a blog tour spot. And yeah, this is about the parents. So, I think it'll um, go along nicely with the movie Frozen 2. The next one is a graphic novel. My oldest daughter, she's going to be reading this for her year TBR. And if y'all want to see that video, let me know down below and I can have her uh, film that with me. And, yeah, so it is Amulet, the Stonekeeper, book one by Kazu Kibushi. Kibushi? And I have no idea what it's about, but she is obsessed with graphic novels. And it kind of reminds me of Lock and Key, but it's more middle grade Lock and Key. After a family tragedy, Emily, Navin, and her mother moved to an old ancestral home to start a new life. So, very uh, Lock and Key. And I wanted to get to in December, but my library was closed for a week. And it was on hold for most of December and I kind of and I did not go and get it because we were busy and so that is Artemis by Andy Weir I loved The Martian and I really want to reread The Martian sometime this year so yeah uh, I wanted to read this right when it came out but I heard not so great things about it that he didn't write the female character very well I don't know, but it's about a girl on the moon, maybe? These three are nonfictions, and they are part of my A to Z global nonfiction reading challenge that has moved into this year because last year was a mess. Um, and I had these on my November TBR, and I've had them from the library since the end of November. And that is The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. It's a war story. I have uh, Notes from a Small Island by Bill Bryson, and also Killers of the Flower Moon, The Osage Murders, and The Birth of the FBI by David Grant. This is becoming a movie with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, and it's being directed by Martin Scorsese, so I'm going to be watching it. After this video, you will be seeing my buzzword, or you maybe have art. I may, uh, I don't know when I'm going to put that up. I think it's already up. Yeah. If you have watched my buzzword year-long TBR, then you know that I'm going to be reading Where Dreams Descend in January for the buzzword dream. And my daughter, Samantha, she's going to be taking part in that reading challenge as well. And she's going to be reading this after I read it. Uh, the readathon takes place from the 1st to the 7th and I'm letting her do it all month long because she's a struggling reader. She does not read fast. She reads multiple books at a time and that's how she rolls, dude. Uh, the next book I'm going to be reading for the Buzzword Readathon is Brown Girl Dreaming. And this is written in verse so it should be very quick read. This, I plan on this being the first book I start this month. I haven't started reading yet, obviously, for the new year, but I may pick this up tonight or tomorrow. After I finish the two books for the buzzword, the third book that I'm going to be picking up this month, it's a priority. I have been having this on a monthly TBR and not showing it, not holding myself accountable to pick it up, but that is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. I love the Infernal Devices series. Jim Carstairs is my 
little cinnamon roll. Will Herondale can go jump off a bridge. I dislike Will Herondale. I don't know why people like him. And Tess, she... She just needs to get her act together. Okay? Stop being the typical Victorian girl. He's all prim and proper. Can't stand that shit. But, yeah. I need to read this. And then the last book that I have on this list, I just added it. I've been wanting to get to it since I got it. And that is Living Dead Girl by Kelly Gunderman. It's about a girl. Uh, she gets sexually assaulted at this party. And I think she dies from her injuries. And she comes back and haunts the guys who assaulted her. It says, Perfect for fans of Pretty Little Liars, 13 Reasons Why, and Sadie. I have read Pretty Little Liars and 13 Reasons Why, but I have not read Sadie, but with all of the hype and buzz around that book, I can I know the general idea of it. And so, yes. And it's going to be a very quick read with how it's typed and the font. So, yes. That is it for my January TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are having a great first day of the year, like I said. Uh, hopefully 2021 is so much better. Hopefully the pandemic will go away. People continue to wear their mask. They get inoculated. Hopefully the vaccines will be pumped out and given properly and that everybody gets it. I know I'm going to be getting it along with my kids uh, when it's available to the public after all the frontline workers and the government officials get theirs. So, yes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.